Welcome back to the new session of educational videos from Best Care Forum. Hi, I'm Christoph Eckermann. I'm a physiotherapist at Otto Bock in the Competence Center in Duderstadt. Today, Feridun and I will show you how to take proper care of your residual limb and scar after the amputation. Hello. Depending on your condition, you can do the desensitization exercises three to four times a day for five to ten minutes each. Please start by using a towel to make small motions around your scar. It's important that this isn't painful, even when you gradually increase the pressure later. After a few days, you can increase the pressure somewhat and use a soft brush to make circular movements around your scar and on your scar as well. If this is painful, please reduce the pressure. Very good, Feridun. Thank you. The last step is using a spiky massage ball to make small motions around the scar. This continues to desensitize it. Scar mobilization starts at the same time as scar care. It's very important that the sutures have been pulled from the scar and it is completely healed over. Mobilization aims to promote the movement of the scar and prevent adhesions. Let me show you how. The scar is held firmly on one side and you use the other hand to make circular motions towards the scar. After making around five circular motions in place, you go up and down the whole scar. Another version is to fixate the scar from one side and use your thumb to push the skin towards the scar. Go up and down the whole scar in small steps. If this is painful, you should lower the pressure you are exerting during the movement. Another option is to fixate both ends of the scar and push the skin in opposite directions. Take care that the scar does not split apart during scar mobilization and cause the wound to open up again. Thank you, Feridun. After a while, you can do this exercise yourself three to four times a day for five to ten minutes. All the exercises that we have just shown you are, of course, general suggestions. Please discuss them with your doctor, physiotherapist or hospital personnel, as they can best assess your individual situation. I'm Manali and I'm a physiotherapist. Hi, I'm Swapnil. I'm an amputee. If you are a recent amputee, compression therapy is really important. You could use compression socks, compression bandages or a compression liner. Today, I'll demonstrate how to apply compression therapy using a compression liner. While using a compression liner, you make sure no air is trapped between the liner and the skin of your residual limb. You want the liner to be as close and completely in contact with the skin of your residual limb. Compression liner is quite tight but still comfortable and doesn't cause me any pain. The liner needs to be washed daily for hygiene purposes. Make sure that you keep moving the rest of the limb while the liner is on. You can remove it after a few hours and keep it open for 30 to 40 minutes to allow air circulation. No matter which method you use for compression therapy, make sure that you do not feel pain at any point of time. If you are experiencing any pain, please visit your physician. It is very important that you apply compression therapy regularly. It is actually preparing your stump for your first prosthetic fitment and is crucial towards shaping your stump. I hope you like the educational videos from Best Care Forum. Please, if you have any suggestion, if you have any question, write your comment under the same video or contact us with 00971. 5091102162 My name is Esmail Nuri I will answer you 24 hours 7 days a week or write an email to us with the same email you can see on the display right now 
Thank you for your trust. Thank you for using these educational videos to be able to provide better services to your community and to your patients. God bless you all. Stay healthy and see you soon. Thank you.